Hi, in this problem we are going to do a proof. We're going to prove that the union of any finite family of closed sets in a metric space is closed. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So we'll start by having a finite family of closed sets. So let c sub 1, c sub 2, c sub n be closed sets in a metric space, which we'll call capital X. And the goal is to show that the union is closed. So claim that the union of these C sub i's, as i runs from 1 to n, is closed. A set is closed if its complement is open. So all we have to do in this proof is show that the complement of this is open. So note, if we look at x set minus the union of the c sub i's as i runs from 1 to n, this is equal to the intersection of x set minus c sub i as i runs from 1 to n. So this is something that is just totally worth memorizing and it's really not hard to prove. This is just a set theoretic um, identity, I guess you could call it. And it comes up a lot when you're studying topology. So worth knowing. So if you have x set minus the union, it becomes an intersection. And then you get the x on the inside. And this is a finite intersection of open sets. since each x set minus ci is open. And this is because c sub i is closed. Right, so each of these is closed, so the complements are open. So we have a finite intersection of open sets. So since any finite intersection of open sets is open, this one is also open. So let me just say that since any finite intersection of open sets is open, uh, our intersection is open. We have that in particular our intersection which runs from i equals 1 to n, x set minus c sub i is open. But that's the same as this, so therefore this is open, so therefore our original set is closed. So thus, the union, as i runs from 1 to n of the c sub i's, is closed. Right? Because we showed that the complement of this set, which is this one, is open, therefore this one is closed. And that completes, that completes the proof. So not a difficult proof, but... Um, worth knowing how to do it, worth knowing how to like structure your arguments. Um, hopefully there's no confusion here and you know if you've, if you've seen this stuff, if you're familiar with metric spaces and the definitions and the theorems, hopefully this has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is studying metric spaces or topology. Good luck.